are some times in your life when you need to push yourself, you need to find something within you that you didn't know was there. Three rounds upper body, three rounds lower body. We're gonna go through that twice. Here we go. Two, three, four, go. That being said, I don't think it's necessarily a great thing to be that hard on yourself. Recovery is important for a million and one reasons. You have to recover if you want to keep doing what you're doing, especially as an elite athlete. But even if you're not, everyone has so many daily stressors in their life that require them to just take time to recover. A lot of what I do is physical recovery, whether that's ice baths, whether that's Norma teching, hyper ice, whatever it is, using tools that will help my body and my muscles recover, help me get stronger. But then emotional and mental health is equally as important. Taking the time to get away from the pool, to let myself rest, mental, physical, emotional, it all goes together. It's not one or the other. You need to have all of it to be successful. my body tells me I'm tired and I need to sleep, then I do it. I think it's really something that people underestimate is when their bodies are telling them to do something and ignoring them, I think, can be one of the most unhealthy things you can do. For me, napping is just really, really important because, you know, when you're exhausted and it's really hard for you to find the energy to keep going, that's literally your body telling you that it needs rest. As long as I can just have a time where I can take a break, close my eyes, I mentally know that I'm having this reset where my body and my mind can both recover simultaneously. The last thing I do right before I jump in the pool is probably smile. I smile and remind myself that regardless of how tired I am, how exhausted I am, that this is something that I love and this is really where I want to be. There's no way to perform well if you have a negative attitude about it. I have never seen that happen. I don't think it's possible. It doesn't matter how strong you are, what kind of physical shape you're in, you have to have that mental attitude of positivity and optimism and trust to go out there and actually achieve what it is you want to do. We got two, we got two more. Six, seven. If you are struggling with getting started working towards your goals, make smaller goals that lead up to your ultimate goal and focus on those smaller ones. Do what makes you happy, not what other people say will make you feel better. The things that remind you who you are, how strong you are, and give you that motivation and that energy to push through whatever it is that's really challenging you. It's having a really good balance of a healthy carb, whether it's quinoa or sweet potato, and having lean protein like chicken or turkey, you know, half a plate full of vegetables, some fruit, being able to make sure my body is refueling in the way that it needs. That's something easy that I think everyone can really do. I always have tea before I go to bed because that kind of really puts me in a place where I know it's, I'm, I'm ready, it's time to sleep, it's time to rest. And so I think getting in a routine of making sure you do things that make you a little bit more tired, that put you in the mood, and then making sure you do try the best you can to get in the cycle of going to bed around the same time every single night. There's not one way to be healthy for every single person. It's gonna look different for everyone. Taking care of yourself and your own well-being comes down to you and what makes you feel best about yourself.